Hello ladies and gentlemen, well I've been doing a little bit more work on NoTrack recently. I did release version 0.9 but didn't make any big announcement about it. It's a few weeks ago now, a couple of months or so, actually I've lost track. Um, but yeah, <laughs> quietly released it, got on with what I was doing on YouTube and um, yeah, now I've come back to do some more updates. So. No track is a DNS sinkhole which protects all your devices on your home network from visiting tracking, advertising, and malicious websites. We have a nice automated installer here on the GitLab page. A little bit about it. Nice little dashboard, analytics piece, more features in the NoTrack wiki. <laughs> yeah, I did all this stuff as well. Try and make it look a bit more glamorous and friendly, I suppose. Yeah. Anyway. The admin page. So let's take a look at what I've recently added. Which I'll give us a couple more minutes. So I just made some more changes to the block list and it's processing. Anyway, first little piece, the live page, which is the actual live queries of what is going on right now, it continuously updates. So I bought a new modern interface to it. You've got cached queries and new queries. Yeah, both of those are allowed. Let's give it something that's not allowed. Something like this tracking website, 207.net, which is owned by Adobe. Yet yeah, there you go. Blocked. Doesn't say why it's been blocked. But yeah. And I've also added this pop-up menu as well. And instantly when you go onto the pop-up menu, it pauses. Last thing you want to be doing is trying to chase a, a constantly updating display. You can block or allow queries. You can Google or whatever search engine you have set. Or you can look on virus total. The investigate piece shows you the domain information, who owns it, and shows you how many queries you've made to it over the past month. Anyway, another new feature which I've added is this DNS queries graph is now interactive. You can actually click on any of these time points and it'll zoom straight to that one hour period on the graph. I'm not going to zoom to any of this because uh, Miss Quids and I were working at home today and it will show the companies we work for there. <laughs> so let's go for something a little bit later when we were relaxing and watching TV. So yeah, clicking on there, or clicking on seven o'clock has taken me to seven o'clock in the evening. Gone straight for time order, but I could switch for viewing, or well, grouped by site. Let's go by most requested site first, uh, Microsoft and Android. Mm. But you can click in various points in these tables. So for example, if I want to look at more information about this site, appmeasurement.com, Blocked by a no track block list. The queries which have been made to it over the past 30 days, and you know, let, let's see what's going on on 28th of June. Why was this site queried so many times then? Yeah, takes you across that date. Sounds such a simple thing, which I should have had already. But yeah, interactive charts. What goes on in the middle of the night? Why are so many things blocked then? Hmm, there you go, there's your cause of it. Some tracking things, but. What else goes on? What are all the queries which happen in the middle of the night? And actually this one's puzzled me. Why is my site being queried from one of the Android phones? I don't know, maybe I had the page on in the background and it's been trying to constantly update. But for what reason, I don't know, because there should be no need for that. <laughs> it's nothing that complicated on my site that would need continuously updating or being queried. I've noticed I might have to go back and do some changes to the CSS for Chrome because uh, the pop-up menus didn't quite work correctly. Anyway, I'll go back and look at that and hopefully get a formal release of version 0.9.1 released in the next few days. Right, thanks for watching. See you all later.